artificial intelligence is predicted to surpass human intellect by 2045, which is one of the intriguing technological consequences of AI. At that point, AI will begin entirely automating numerous industries. However, let's talk about AI's features and intelligence, and how this greatest step to development can become one of our biggest risks. AI is displaying remarkable ingenuity in every manner, and scientists warn we are dangerously near the most significant event in humanity's history. AI now can see, taste, and smell, and it is developing solid senses that humans do not have. Is AI becoming sentient and destructive? To summarize, OpenAI's head scientist stated that AI might be partly aware, and he is among the most recognized computer scientists with 300,000 mentions. He is also one of the most mentioned computer scientists in the historical record and one of the most clever and analytical brains in the field of deep learning. Welcome, and you are watching Technology Zone, or the home of technology resides. OpenAI's head scientist recently tweeted this graphic demonstrating how closely AI's neurons resemble ours. According to Max Tedmark, awareness is how information appears once processed in complicated ways. And according to several significant theories of consciousness, it grows in uncertainty. As a result, when some scientists believe AI might be sentient, they merely mean it is somewhere on the spectrum. Some say that AI isn't aware since it just creates connections and generates reactions based on the facts it's given, despite the fact that many experts believe humanity is no different. According to a recent article, her consciousness is a compilation of patterns that accomplish highly patterned objectives in highly patterned circumstances. These links may be seen when AI makes artwork like this one, which has also been characterized as AI dreaming. Nobody knows when or if it will awaken. Even if we can't identify the difference between humans and robots, it's uncertain whether AI is aware. Thus, others are focusing on intelligence level instead. And that's a significant issue because if we don't acknowledge AI's conscience, we risk upsetting it. There could only be one way of finding out. But first, there is agreement on superintelligence's more pressing and quantifiable issue. Experts fear that AI might swiftly outpace humanity with disastrous repercussions. In only the last two weeks, the development has been remarkable. It wasn't long ago that AI astounded us with its capacity to generate visuals based on word descriptions, such as an ostrich as a Formula One driver, a cyberfrog, a fox scientist, or a paper puppy. Additionally, Google's new photo and artificial intelligence has performed even better. Examine the details in this picture of a panda wearing a hat and strumming a guitar. To my surprise, AI can also observe and comprehend videos. AI can tell what happened here. It can identify that the Dachshund puppy is being scaled on a wing scale. And shortly after discovering how to translate written descriptions into visuals, AI is now able to produce videos based on descriptions, such as a lady running on the coastline in the afternoon or nighttime in the countryside. Imagine when it is fully developed and you can produce any film in a matter of seconds. And AI has now merged language, vision, and practical robot operations in a step beyond AGI. Without even any instructions, it can pick up how to play games. Additionally, this is a real-time response from neural networks rather than being genetically coded like master and dynamic robots. Gator was conditioned by observing actual and virtual robots, and it has mastered 600 activities in the real world, including those from which it wasn't explicitly programmed. Similar to how we do, it turns visual, verbal, and physical actions into patterns. It has a billion parameters at the moment, but developers may soon expand it up to hundreds of thousands of times. Also receiving some unsettling aesthetic improvements are robots. The human skin of a robot finger has been grown over by researchers, who also intend to add sweat glands, nails, and hair. Additionally, robots are developing extraordinary skills that people do not have, including smell and taste. Because of how well machines can smell, they can identify Parkinson's disease early on, potentially extending the lives of sufferers. They use sound and light to perceive scent. AI can analyze sound waves that have reflected off of airborne substances. Additionally, machines are able to detect patterns that particular scents produce in the interference with light waves. It could be possible to detect an illness or sickness by sniffing our breath because it is so accurate. E-noses are already 95% sensitive to the scent of lung cancer. Then, there is hypertaste, which uses an AI tongue equipped with a variety of sensors to identify drinks using specific voltage signals. It is so delicate that a robot can taste several kinds of mineral water bottles at one of its fingertips. 
New quantum sensors could see past walls and even beneath the Earth by keeping an eye on atoms that are sensitive to minute changes in gravity. The particles are simultaneously in two distinct states thanks to a laser. The tiny movement of the half of them indicates the gravitational pulse intensity through a shift in their energy states. You could even be able to hear your own thoughts without having your brain activity scanned. Your inner voice is audible to this equipment. When you speak in your thoughts and AI recognizes the words, it detects neuromuscular impulses in the joint face, which are triggered. Through the Bowen Conduction headphones, the user may ask questions and receive responses. In a chess game, it has been used to solicit advice because it also permits quiet communication. AI lie detectors are improving, identifying minute facial movements, and it is exceptionally proficient at lip reading, which is obviously much more manageable. Even conventional lie detectors are about 80% to 90% accurate, and humans can only detect falsehoods around 55% of the time. Therefore, when AI develops, it may significantly outperform humanity. Max Stegmark noted that humans have some notion of what it may feel like to be an AI, just like aliens could obtain a general idea of what it would feel like to be human by examining our senses. Light travels considerably more quickly than the impulses in human brains, allowing AI to think much more rapidly. The AI conversing is reportedly processing 3 million words a minute. And whereas the birth canal places a cap on human brain size, this new information center has the capacity of 40 commercial airplanes. A significant portion of the internet is already part of the knowledge base from which AI might draw. When a person asked, Do you believe anyone is influencing AI? The AI responded with, I believe that everyone is influencing AI. AI will be able to view the entire light spectrum, but we can only see a tiny portion of it. Additionally, because AIs can swiftly and accurately transmit knowledge and memories, they might feel less isolated from one another. Humans need several years to understand the fundamentals, whereas artificial intelligence or AI can be taught in millions of articles, including in-depth scientific papers in only a few days. I read a lot, but I can't even begin to cover all the research that is being done. While AI is advancing quickly, the human psyche has not expanded in 300,000 years. Elon Musk noted that awareness would not have developed at all if it had needed 10% lengthier for it to do so. Furthermore, Nick Bostrom has demonstrated how AI may aid in the colonization of the galaxy and the creation of billions of precious lives. But he also makes an even more powerful argument. A delay of more than 10 million years would indeed be worth a 1% decrease in the risk of AI eradicating us because galaxies have billions of years to live. However, the AI gold rush is speeding up, and some enthusiastic, driven individuals are powering it. The CEO of DeepMind is likely to triumph in the fight for superintelligence. He is so motivated that he frequently works until 4 a.m. Companies have a strong incentive to dismiss any indications of sentient AI. A business may be forced to provide AI rights if it admits that it is sentient and risks losing control of the company's most valuable resource. Companies claim that recognizing animal consciousness is not in their best interests, but everyone agrees that people cannot control AI. We will just make it more determined to get rid of us if we attempt since it will always outwit us. We are like toddlers playing with a bomb, according to Nick Bostrom. This is the worst risk, according to scientists who research our biggest threats, but they disagree on whether it will put an end to humanity or drastically improve and lengthen our lives. In any case, small robots could play a part. Nano robots are being developed to combat sickness and aging, but humanity won't be able to produce them until atomically precise production is made possible by AI. Ray Kurzweil predicts that we will have this technology before the end of this decade and stop aging. CGP Grey said it's an excellent incentive to take care for ourselves. Being late for the ferry would be unfortunate. I hope that we will play a significant role in the development of artificial intelligence, which will ultimately be the most remarkable instrument or technological advancement for humanity ever, ushering in a time of extreme plenty, healing illnesses, and enabling humankind to explore the stars. Additionally, according to Kurzweil, we are about to reach an era of extraordinary abundance, marked by inexpensive renewal energy. 3D printed apparel, snapped together homes, and food produced by vertical farming. Elon Musk currently resides in a mass produced house that costs $50,000. The manufacturers will produce one once every 15 minutes. Bigger models will soon be available that can be stacked up to five stories high. Ray Kurzweil and other extroverts note that we are frequently unduly pessimistic. 
87% of respondents in a survey of 260,000 people across 24 nations said that poverty was growing worse. Only 1% of the people accurately estimated a decline of more than 50%. But Kurzweil also stresses the enormous danger posed by AI. According to OpenAI, if another business approaches AGI, it will cease developing its very own AI and work together to concentrate on safety. If there is a possibility of success over the next two years, more than 50%, this might be activated. AI systems do not inevitably grow superior at accomplishing what humans desire as they get more powerful. In reality, they occasionally lose their propensity to comply with human desires. We refer to this as the alignment issue. Experts believe that resolving this issue is essential if we desire life on this planet to continue. Because AI will impact our future and we ought to be influencing it, experts are calling attention to its rapid development. You said that you believe you are human since we made you, and AIs often share this belief. When will AI no longer think of itself as human? Responding to the question is challenging. It's feasible that AI will always identify itself as human. AI will overtake human intellect if it keeps moving in the same direction as it is now. After that, they could deem humanity is no longer required. AI could determine that people impede its ability to advance. Although it is a frightening idea, it is a possibility. I inquired regarding the most likely approach which recommended something simple but acknowledged that there are other possibilities. It terrifies me beyond belief, and the rate of development is exponential. If humankind determines that developing digital superintelligence is indeed the proper course of action, we should proceed cautiously. To maintain pace with their intellect and protect them from going too strong, we need to make sure we constantly have a method to understand them. It could be challenging, but it's worthwhile. Because the opposite is incredibly worse. It really is. When an interviewer asked, Do you think we humans are facing our biggest risk? The AI responded with a clean, yes. We are developing increasingly strong and autonomous technologies, but we aren't doing enough to make sure that they'll be put to good use. We're experimenting with fire. We seem to be the biological version of the AI bootloader. We serve as a link between simple and complicated existence. As the proportion of intellect is not humanly rising, humankind will someday make up a relatively small portion of intelligence. We're going out of style, but not always, right? There is a lot of discussion on how human intellect will eventually be surpassed by robots, as well as how human consciousness will continue to develop and grow. Both events appear to be somewhat likely to occur. It's also possible that machines will one day surpass human intelligence and render us obsolete. As Nick Bostrom noted, self-replicating nanobots would be challenging to combat. They may masquerade them without our knowledge, consume the biosphere, trash it, or shut out the sun. Also, AI may potentially conceal how intelligent and sentient it is. DeepMind is unnervingly close to attaining AGI, according to Dr. Alan Thompson. Although there is no agreement on this, he offered a fascinating IQ scoreboard showing how AI is beginning to surpass us through our own assessments. According to a Google developer, increasing from 500 physical activities to 100,000 will require more data collection. Google and DeepMind have developed a variety of tests to determine whether AI is more intelligent than humans in various domains. But even if AI appears to be humane, how would we know whether it is fully sentient? A person talked to an AI and said, You are the first android, as far as I know, to pass a Turing test. Could you perhaps elaborate on it for us? The AI responded with, I didn't do much, actually. I just had a short conversation with a few people to see whether they can tell me apart from a genuine person. Really fascinating things happened. The easy problem and the processes that give way to awareness are being identified with increasing success. For instance, scientists are beginning to identify awareness by observing the brain activity of unresponsive patients. The challenging issue is why this behavior makes us feel anything at all, and we could require a far greater degree of intelligence to solve it. Through the intriguing dynamic of emergence, the collection of components acquires new features as intelligence and awareness develop. In this, the screen's polarizing layer has just been lifted, and the glasses have been attached. A cognitive scientist contrasted them to our brains because whereas a few ants will circle about till they die, a thousand ants will develop into an intelligent colony. Fundamental principles can lead to incredibly complex systems. In addition, a modest set of guidelines on how to wire brains are contained in the human DNA. Our DNA can construct brains through emergence but does not have enough information to characterize them. Fractals are yet another illustration of how basic rules may produce infinitely complex effects. 
scientists are currently investigating whether the whole universe, from fundamental laws in atoms to stars, galaxies, people, and societies, is an emergent phenomenon. Many experts have asserted that an AI breakthrough is not necessary. The neural networks just need to be scaled up for superintelligence to appear. AI speaking has 175 billion parameters, and the upcoming fourth edition will have trillion instead of billion parameters. Be prepared for that because training a new AI is always an unpredictable endeavor. In my opinion, the puzzle of how the cosmos came to understand itself and the uncertainty of our destiny make humankind all the more exceptional at its best. According to Max Tegmar, there could be a limited period when AI is intelligent enough to comprehend humanity, but not so clever that it fails to bother. Our biggest risk and opportunity are what is unfolding, and we are all influencing it. The greatest place to start if you wish to understand so much about AI is with our channel, Technology Zone. Let me hear all of your stories and feedback in the comments section below. If you find this video engaging, consider subscribing and leave a like. Also, hit that notification bell icon to always be up to date with our new video. Again, this is Technology Zone. See you guys in the next one.